good morning welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time my name is sophie i like to speak although i'm actually in the process of rebranding my youtube channel so stay tuned to watch this space all the digest so today's message is actually about unity and like how we need to stick together and work together you know when you're just minding your business and you just look outside and there's just loads and loads of birds swarming when i say this was the biggest biggest swarm of birds i've ever seen no joke i was like this is insane there were so many of them they were just coming and coming and coming obviously at the moment there's been quite a lot of hostility on my okay i don't i don't know if i should call it hostility but there's just been a lot of back and forth on my twitter there's a lot to do with people's opinions or statements um and then other like christians not necessarily agreeing as i was seeing it i was just seeing a lot of correction which is fine but it wasn't in love it was quite like a harsh hostile tone yeah and see that's what the problem was i said hold up wait a minute something right of course i love to see people debating educating each other but it just didn't have a good atmosphere to me damn look how big my ears look that's nuts anyway yeah we're all trying to kind of serve god and do the right thing but for me all i was kind of seeing was the vibe i was just not seeing much unity i was just getting bad vibes from it and then there was a sermon about it in church this morning so i just feel like god is really saying listen just share what i've put on your heart this morning in church right the pastor said that unity is showing that you care for one another i feel like embarrassing people on twitter and giving indirects and throwing shades i don't feel like that's showing a care for each other the other two things that my pastor said unity was this morning was following the same direction and having a shared purpose as children of god we all have a shared purpose we all We all have a shared purpose, which is to spread the gospel and to show people what God's love is and serve the Lord basically where, however he pleases. Now that's not to say we all have the same exact designated job. For example, let's say someone's building a building, yeah? They all have a shared purpose because they all are contributing to building the building but they don't all have the same job one person will have the job of laying the foundations one person will have the job of bricklaying one person will have the job of painting and decorating everyone has a different job within that bigger purpose to make it work which is basically what we are all doing for christ as well like we all need to be using our gifts and our skills and our knowledge and our wisdom in order for us to fulfill the bigger purpose this is why god's given us different gifts and different skills that's the reason we're not all the same because we all have different ways that we can contribute towards the kingdom of god and towards the purpose that god has for us yeah and that's our period everyone's job is crucial and vital to the end product and we all have to work together 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 in unity to achieve this i just feel like everyone needs to remember we're not competing against each other we're all competing for christ like here i go with my metaphors again but why man if someone's doing something wrong in their job you want to correct them and tell them the right way to do something but you don't want to embarrass them or you don't want to say it in a distasteful way which will cause hostility between you two because then you two will find it difficult to work together and you won't get the best outcome for the project that you're working on boy these metaphors are slapping we've all got it wrong we all make mistakes we all misunderstand things from time to time and we all weren't as knowledgeable or as wise or as educated as we are now so we just need to have patience for other people we just need to make sure that we're doing everything in love there's a lot of times i make mistakes or i misunderstand something but when people correct me they don't correct me in a way to make me feel small or to belittle me they correct me in a way that i know they care about me and i know that they want the truth because ultimately the word of god is the truth and obviously if i've made a mistake or if i've misunderstood something then that's no longer the truth so they just want to make sure that i'm sharing the truth because we all have a shared purpose it's also a thing where it's my responsibility to hold up my hands if i've got something wrong there's actually an example that talks about this in the bible i think it's in first corinthians first corinthians 12 i can't remember what verse it is oh i've even highlighted it cool first corinthians 12 the title of the section is the body of christ works together a person's body is only one thing but it has many parts though there are many parts to a body all those parts make only one body christ is like that also 
We are all children of God. We are all part of one body of Christ. It says, though there are many parts to a body, all those parts make only one body. Christ is like that also. So although there are many of us, all of us make one body of Christ. The human body has many parts. The foot might say, because I'm not the hand, I am not the body. But saying this would not stop the foot from being a part of the body. Then it goes on giving examples like that. Um, and it says, if the whole body were an eye, it would not be able to hear. If each part of the body were the same part, there would be no body. But truly, God put all the parts, each one of them, in the body as he wanted. So then there are many parts, but only one body. He put all of these parts in their specific places to do their specific jobs. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the foot, I don't need you. These parts of the body that seem to be the weaker parts are really necessary. And the parts of the body we think are less... And the parts of the body we think are less are the parts to which we give the most honour. I'm not going to read the section after that. Do you understand what is being said here? God is literally saying, we are all parts of the body of Christ. Because I don't think you're good enough or because I don't think you're special enough, I cannot just say, you know what, no, we're not going to include you anymore. They are needed. No matter what your opinion is of how important they are or how necessary they are, every single person has a designated job. So we can't just disqualify people. It literally says we are meant to honour each part. We are meant to honour each other so that we are not divided. The last thing God wants is for us to be divided. Do I look orange? I feel like I look orange. Oh no. Anyway, back to the topic of discussion. I just really feel, yeah, having unity in the Christian community is literally a testimony because the world literally teaches you that you're meant to be segregated by race, age, gender, culture, colour, everything. Whereas in the Christian community, it doesn't matter about any of that. The common denominator in all of our lives is Christ. And that should overpower any difference that we have. Like it literally says in John 13, I think is verse 34. It literally says, your love for one another will prove that you are my disciples. Wait, let me just double check that. We have a bit of context. This is the part of the Bible where Jesus is trying to wash his disciples feet. And it literally says, you must love each other as I have loved you, as people will know that you are my followers if you love each other. Purely by us loving each other and being unified shows that we are followers of Jesus. So by us not loving each other and by there being diversity and by us tearing each other down, that's not showing that we're followers of Christ. It just shows that we're at each other's throats all the time. All of the stuff I was seeing on Twitter, like it was all public. Obviously, I don't know if there were certain corrections that went on in private, but all of what I was seeing was going on in public. We have to remember as well, it's not just other Christians observing you having a dispute. Other people who are not Christians are seeing this going on. It's not that it's not good for them to see a debate, but for them to see Christians tearing down other christians and throwing shade and indirecting all of this public humiliation for them seeing all of this is not going to bring them to god it's not going to encourage them that you know this is the community they want to join these are going to be their brothers and sisters in christ that's not going to encourage anyone to come to christ because they're just going to see people tearing each other down oh wow i didn't even realize that just a few thoughts that was going through my head when i was seeing it i was just imagining them thinking or even what people like to call baby christians yeah i can just imagine them thinking wow i don't want to see tweet or say anything publicly if, if this is the reaction i'm going to get if i ever make a mistake or if I ever misunderstand something and obviously I'm not saying that's people's intentions but I'm saying from an outsider looking in that's what it seems like at the moment yeah so I just feel like we just need to be more cautious in what we're doing and what we're saying and how we're correcting people and also just going back to these birds real quick yeah birds actually fly together in big flocks like that because it's easier for them to fly in the wind if you swim like you know when you swim directly behind someone so you swim in their streamline basically it's easier for you to swim or if you run if you run directly behind someone it's easier for you to run because you're in their streamline they also fly together like that because enemy attacks are less likely to be successful when they fly in flocks like that and how when the person at the front of the group gets tired the other birds make noise to encourage them and i was just reading this thinking wow this is what 
the body of Christ should be like. This is what we should be like. We should be flying together because we're less susceptible to enemy attacks when we work together. We're more likely to get through trials and tribulations if we work together as one body of Christ. And also when someone is doing great work for Christ and you know they're leading and setting an example, we need to be encouraging them and supporting them. Anyway, yeah, so I'm not so I'm not I wasn't I'm not sitting here in this video saying that I'm holier than thou or I'm I'm better than anyone, far from perfect myself. This is something God really laid on my heart and it hurts me because I just know how it can feel from both sides but we just really need to be careful in the way we step and the way we speak and the way we move with each other. I just had to share it because it made me realise like do you know how amazing we can be? Do you know what kinds of amazing work we can do for God if we work together? Possibilities are limitless. We all have our own opinions we all have our own skills and our own talents but god designed it so that all of these things work together for the good of the lord all things work together for the good of the lord we shouldn't be trying to individually try and oh i i saved the most souls i won the most souls i knew the most bible i was the most correct it shouldn't be like that Anyway, so that's all from me. Sorry, it was a proper heavy message today, but in light of everything that was going on, I was like, mm, am I really trying to post this? But you know what? Like, I, I've done this in good faith. I'm not judging anyone. I'm not coming for anyone. I'm coming to everyone out of pure love. I hope you take what I say on board. Please share this message with other people so they can hear what God's trying to say because you know what I mean. Especially in this time where the world is literally going to crap. Like everything is literally going to the pits. And I just feel like this is the time where we really just need to be pulling together. Deuces. Dear Lord, I pray for anyone listening and even those that this message hasn't reached, Lord, that you really just put the desire for unity on their hearts, Lord. I pray that everyone works together for the good of you, Lord. As we show each other love, we show that we are followers of you, Lord. And I pray that we're just able to show each other love, even when it's particularly particularly difficult in times of frustration or disagreement i pray that you just allow us to be christ-like lord i pray that you allow us to show love and compassion how you would show it to us lord to correct each other in love how you correct us in love lord and, and to be there and support each other when we do make mistakes or or have misunderstandings what would jesus do lord i pray that you just help us to think like you to walk like you to talk like you lord i really pray that as we pull together as a unit i pray that we will all see the benefits. We will all see the effectiveness that we have as a unit. I pray that people are in awe of you and how you can have us all working together and how you can bring so many people of so many different backgrounds together. Let all the glory be yours for this miracle, for this unity and diversity. In Jesus name I pray. Amen.